All right, so this story time takes place in like 10th grade year, which was honestly like my best year of high school. I met some great people and some awesome teachers. And in this particular class I was in, had a few of those great people and an awesome teacher. I was in second period talking to the bros about random shit like 10th graders do. And my teacher comes in class and he's pretty upset. Now me, I'm confused like what could possibly make him mad or upset. He's such a cool guy. Everyone loved him. He was just a dope person. Now a few days back he had everyone sign this desk from all his classes. He had everyone sign it like goodbye. It was pretty much saying goodbye. The school was letting him go and he was switching to another school. So he had to sign the desk as if it was like a yearbook and he was kind of graduating I guess. So the reason why he was mad is because someone decided to write Mr. Jones is a puta. Which is very stupid because the only reason you could dislike him is if you were like a dickhead class clown type of person who just tried to like try too hard who just tried too hard pretty much. We actually had a few of those in the class. I wouldn't be surprised if it was one of them. So our teacher pretty much tells us since nobody wants to fess up, I'm going to go outside and let you guys talk about it as a class and y'all can figure out who did it. So he leaves the class and me and my friends start talking like, all right, who did it? Because me and my friends, we pretty much were like the most known in class. Like we knew everybody. We were cool with everybody. Except to a certain extent, the class clowns or whatever. They were cool at first, but then after a while, they, you know, they, it's, they're dickheads. So yeah, <laughs> like we didn't want everybody to suffer for one person's doing. Because he was a cool ass teacher. Y'all got no reason to disrespect him. He does a lot in his power to make this class uh, fun. Like we watched a lot of movies. We did lots of stuff in his class. Like. He just made the class fun, and that was kind of part of the reason why he was getting let off, because every time he, every time like the principal and the assistants walked in, we were watching a movie, but they didn't realize that we were actually learning things as we watched the movie. Like, we had whole packets of work, so we were learning English stuff while we were watching these movies. They just saw it as, oh, we're watching movies, because they didn't check in everybody, like, what we were doing and nothing. They didn't ask nothing. They, were just, they always let off the good teachers at that school, so. Okay, but I'm getting off track. Everyone was just pretty much looking around, dumb. Nobody wanted to pass up, so it was like this one kid who was kind of on the weird side. Everyone around the school called him Sonic because he loved Sonic the Hedgehog, and he used to run around the school like Sonic Naruto style. So, yeah, he was one of those type of kids. So he stands up, and he walks to the front of the class, and I kid you not, he yells, You think this is funny? This is a matter between life and death, and you are all joking. So another kid, a.k.a. another class clown dickhead, decides to yell out, Shut the fuck up and sit down. And Sonic yells back, Shut up. So the class clown gets up and gets in his face and like start trying to punk him. Like, what you gonna do, huh? What you gonna what you say, huh? What you gonna do? Like pretty much in his face and all that. And me, being the type of guy I am, I get up and get in his face, like, bro, what are you doing? Like, come on, bro, you really gonna try to fight him? Go sit down. Like, go sit down. So he goes to sit down, but he's still talking shit. Not about class clown, I mean not about Sonic, but about me. He's like, oh yeah, he think he's tough. Like just talking shit on the low. So like I'm like, okay, I'm not like, ignoring him. I was like, bro, shut up. Like, it, I got annoyed of it after a while. I just told him to shut up. And they started talking under his breath, like, to his friends, like, the other class clown dickheads. And I look at my friends, I'm like, bro, I'm about to drop him. Like, I'm, I'm so serious. Like, I'm, I'm, not with, I'm not with the bullshit. Like, I'm really going to drop you. And one of my friends goes like, nah, bro, let me do it. Like, I don't like him anyway. So I was like, all right, go ahead, shoot. I'm saving my energy. And so class passes by. Someone took the blame, but they didn't really do it. So, like, my teacher's are like, we're going to get to the bottom of this another day. So as we are leaving... As the class clown walks out the uh, room, he pushes Sonic. And that's when me and my friends were like, hell nah. And my friend who tried to fight him gets outside and gets in his face. He's like, so you like picking on people, huh? You like bullying? So he's pretty much in his face. I'm like, oh, shit, it's about to go down. And the class clown wanted no smoke. Like, he was like, watch out, fool. Watch out, bro. Like, watch out, girl. Come on, bro. Like, he was like pretty much trying to dis like, dismiss him off. Like, like, get off me. Like, come on, bro. Like, watch out. It was like, bro, you didn't have that same energy when you was like, in Sonic face and all that. So my friend decides to take a plus ultra Detroit smash falcon punch swing, but he missed and he hit the wall and they got into like a little tussle inside another classroom. But then the teacher broke it up and called security. My friend's hand was hella swollen. Like, you know when a cartoon character gets a knot on his face and they got them big ass like round balls? That's how my friend's knuckle looked. Like, I kid you not. If I had a picture of it, I would show y'all. So they both get suspended and days go by. They come back or whatever. But my friend, he was not satisfied because he missed that super, you know, super falcon punch, like, ass swing. And he decides, okay, one day after school, he follows him after, like, after he gets out of class, he follows him down to Taco Bell. And he beats him up. Like, they get into it. Like, it was a video. I don't have the video, but he get, he sees him there, and he's just like, what's up, what's up? And they just fight, and he beats him up. Like, he beats his ass. And none of the class clown friend decided to help him. Like, none of them helped him. And we weren't even there. It was just him. Like, it was just my friend by himself. Like, 
he he really was just with the shits. He was like, all right, I'm about to go down there and beat him up. And you can hear one of the class town friends like, call the cops, call the cops. Like, bro, really? Just break it up. Like, just try to break it up. There's more of y'all, and there's only one of him. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think after that, my friend got expelled, too, because, like, he kept trying to fight and shit. And it's, like, multiple fights, and yeah. So, yeah, I think they expelled him after that. But we still kept in touch with him. I do think it was kind of overboard. But at the same time, I bet he learned his lesson not to bully people. If y'all ever see somebody getting bullied, step up and go tell someone. Or if you could try to stop it yourself, then do so. It's not cool at all to bully, so it honestly makes you look like a dickhead. So just don't do it. Like, it's just not cool. I don't know what 1980, 70 movie y'all watched where the bully looks cool and gets all the girls and he's like a jock. But that that's not reality. Well, at least in my in my area, that's not reality and it's not cool at all. It just makes you look retarded and like a fucking dickhead, so don't do it. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the story of how my friend beat up the school bully. If you guys want more of these, just make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And leave a comment and let me know if you guys want more. I'll see y'all in the next video, man. I love y'all.